All right, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak. I have the Great Millstone, Atlanta Camp. Before I get started with the lesson, I want to first start by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Shalom, I'm talking sincere brothers that push teaching the truth all across the four corners of the earth. And Shalom, I'm talking sincere listeners and sincere believers. All right. Here with a lesson concerning that uh, it is worse to stop believing in the Lord. Than to never believe, okay? It's worse to stop believing in the Lord than to never believe, man. Okay, and of course, this message goes to our people who are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are truly Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible, okay? And a lot of spirits out there know and are fully aware of their true identity, their true nationality according to the Bible, okay? And they're fully aware of prophecies as well, man. Prophecies, okay? Fully aware of prophecies and what the hell is going on and what's already written to happen in these last days, man. Okay. Many are fully aware of that, but are not, you know, taking the necessary steps, you know, of 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 or truly of towards reaching salvation, man. Okay. And that and that involves following the laws, and commandments, rehearsing the righteous acts. All right. Along with the major, the, the major part of that is within faith, man. Because we understand through our faith we're going to get delivered. Okay. So this message is to those Hebrew Israelites that are fully aware. Of what is going on, all right, but 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 some have turned their back on the Lord, man, or have seemed to turn their back on the Lord, man. Okay, so this is Luke, chapter twelve, verse eight. It reads, "Also I say unto you, and of course the Lord is speaking to the disciples, all right, Yahweh Shai is speaking to the disciples. This is, all right, so I read it again, verse eight. It says, "Also I say unto you, whoso whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess." Before the angels of the Most High, okay, because the Yahweh Shai is truly our mediator between between us and the and the Heavenly Father Yahweh, okay. Yahweh Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name, and Yahweh Shai is, is the Son of Man's true name, man, our our Lord and Savior's true name, okay. The Son of Man being Yahweh Shai, all right. So who and who's confessing before men? Who's confessing the names Yahweh by Shmuel Shai before the planet Earth, man? The prophets, the men of the Lord, man, okay. And the men we're held to a higher standard than women. All right, we're 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 supposed to take that lead into into teaching and preaching and defending the gospel of Yahweh by Shem All right, it says, "Whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall I, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of the Most High." And why is it why is Yahweh Shai the Son of Man confessing to the angels? Okay, because judgment is on the way. Judgment is on the way, and the Lord's about to use Esau, Edom. He's about to use wicked spirits. Out here. He's about to use wild beasts. He's about to use all these various different ways to to commit to commit judgment, man. To commit putting people to death, masses, the mass population to death, man. All right, if and, and you know people can doubt it all they want, it's about to take place, man. All right, it's about to take place for you for for all those that laugh now. You shall mourn and weep. All right, think it's a game now, man. You gonna you we're gonna be laughing in that day, man. Lord willing. All right, but verse nine it says, but he that denieth me before men. Shall be denied before the angels of the Most High. So those that have turned their back on Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, on, on serving the Lord, you know, falling out the truth, you know, not fearing the Lord anymore, whatever the case may be, all right, you're truly denying Yahweh by Shemuel Shah before the world, man. You put, you're basically uh, putting Yahweh Shah, his sacrifice, and truly, the, of course, the Heavenly Fathers, the whole entire truth to open shame, man, okay? The elect, the, the prophets. All right, the gospel. Okay, but but the the thing about it is, prophecies are still going to come to pass, whether you believe it or not, whether you act upon your own salvation or not, whether you work it out on your own or not, man. Faith with works. Okay, one can't go without the other. All right. So verse nine again says, "But he that denieth me before men, shall be denied before the angels of the Most High." And I did one video probably uh probably last week or a couple weeks back, uh mentioning that you are go you people are going to want to be delivered, man. All right, so you need, it's, it's best to repent now and not tarry or delay, all right, while you still have your liberty and freedom to do so, you know? It's about to get real serious, and you're going to want to be delivered, man. Verse 10, and whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. See, it, it, see the Lord the Lord is, is full of mercy, mercy man, all right? And we still we, we still had this grace period uh, uh, to repent. We still have a great spirit to repent, man. The, the word is still going out. The men of the Lord are still teaching, all right? But, uh, hey, the, the, the doors are still going to close sooner or later, man. All right, so take advantage now. Take advantage of the opportunity to to to, 
to be edified, your soul be built up and gain faith. All right, while you still can. All right. But it says, verse 10 says, but unto him that blessed him against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven. All right. And I also want to skip down later on in this chapter, going down to verse uh, 45, just to further the point of uh, for those for those that it is worse to, you know, stop believing than to never believe, man. It's worse. OK, this is Luke chapter 12, verse 45. It reads, but and if that servant say in his heart, his mind, my Lord, the lay of his coming and shall begin to beat the men, servants and maidens. And to eat and to drink and to be drunken. Verse 46. The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him. And in an hour which he is not aware and will cut him in sunder and will point him his portion with the unbelievers. All right. So for that servant, that's, you know, that's that's basically the Lord saying that's bullshitting, man. You know, it's, it's good. You're going to be your portion going to be given to like the like the unbelievers, man. You know, those that, that don't even have a clue of what the hell is going on. Don't have don't have a clue. Of the truth. All right. Don't have an inclination, man. All right. But for, verse 47 hits home the point. And it says, in that, in that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. All right. So for that servant that, you know, that, that was aware of the prophecy, that, that were aware of the Lord's name and, and, the, and the Lord's, uh, and the son of the Lord's true name, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, that were aware of the prophecies. Jacob's trouble, martial law. World War Three, all right. The RFID, uh, MOB, okay. The you know the chip, okay. Of these such things, man, it did not prepare himself, did not build up the faith, did not do, did not do his will, okay. It's, you know, speaking more towards the men, okay. Did not, did not do the Father's will of of, of rehearsing the righteous acts, keeping the high holy days, all right. Teaching, teaching, uh, confessing the Lord's name before others, all right. In a, in a public, in a public eye, you know, doing these such things, man. He says, you shall be beaten with many stripes. It says, verse 48, but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. All right. So that servant that knew you're going to be beaten with many stripes, more than the, the one that, that, that knew not. That didn't even have a clue of the truth. And that's scary, man. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of Yahweh Bashmiah Shah, according to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It's a fearful thing. All right. For those that don't, that truly don't fear that scripture. You're just gonna to have to witness it, man. All right. And these people think just because the Lord, the Lord can touch your, your family as well, man. All right. He can He can plague you by punishing your family members. All right. So you turning the back on you on the Lord or or not doing your will, you know, you're putting your family at, at, at harm's way as well, because you can all your family can also be covered through this truth as well, man. All right. And I'm gonna grab that, but I'm gonna read this verse 48 again. It says, "But he that knew not." That did not even wasn't even aware of the truth and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes for unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required and to whom men have committed much of him they will ask the more all right it's much more required of, of men of the lord of hebrew israelites man all right those that are truly aware of what the hell is going on truly aware of the wisdom not understanding of the holy bible man okay and i just want to uh, further that point Cause I did mention that we can, you can, co you can cover your family members through this truth as well, man. All right. So this is Acts chapter sixteen, verse thirty. All right, and it, just to bring context, it was a uh, the jailer, you know, was 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 uh, I guess you could say shaking within his faith, you know, it was shaking, you know, within of, of the situation because the the prison, the uh, the the people, the the prisoners basically broke out. Okay, but this is I just want to get straight to the point with Acts chapter sixteen, verse thirty. And it reads, and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Verse 31. And they said, Believe on the Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. All right. So through this truth, you can cover, you know, yourself and your family members, man. Of course, all up, all up to the Lord's will. All right. Remember that. You got to remember that. It's all up to the Lord's will. But you turn your back on the Lord. OK. Or, you know, or or, or stop or st stopping your faith or. You know, hindering your faith or stop believing in, entirely, okay? They they never they never believe it, man. You putting your family in, in an even more larger scale of of harm's way and judgment through you how about Shmuel and it's not light, man. Some and some things you know what words can't teach you adversity will, man. So without not not listening to the spirit, 
you know, experience life experiences will take place, man. Or right, I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna say death, but difficult life situations will take place, man. Alright. But let me also grab Second Peter, which goes along with the topic as well. Let me get Second Peter chapter two, verse twenty. Alright. Second Peter chapter two, verse twenty, and it reads for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shahamashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome, and the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. Okay, and just to bring context within Second Peter chapter two, this entire chapter goes into those unbelievers, those that are a wicked and evil spirits, their characteristics of being an evil spirit. Okay, all right, and this verse twenty is starting to go into those. That that have that have entangled themselves back into the into the um uh, into the affairs of this life of this world basically because we know that Esau Edom this rulership is going to end it's going to be a new a refreshed heavens and earth man all right through the kingdom of heaven that will be ruled by the Hebrew Israelites man of the twelve tribes of, of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel okay but verse twenty one it reads for it had been better for them. Not to have known the way of righteousness, then after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. All right. So this is a fearful thing, man, to believe and then to stop believing and, to, and return back to your to your regular degla old life, man. This bullshit ass life. We have nothing to look back to, man. You know, you know, to, you know, uh, you know, hindering your faith or stop believing because of family, money, you know, your whatever the job or the the woman, you know, or. You know, just weak thoughts, man. You know, or just just doubt. Okay, it's it's not gonna be worth it, man. You know, the best is to, of course, pray to how about me outside fast. All right, get, you know, get more strength than Kazak. All right, faith. I'm a one. All right, fear. Yara. Okay, you know, and ask and ask, of course, mercy from the Lord, man. Chasad. All right. Then to turn from man to turn from this holy commandment, man, from these laws, statutes, commandments of the holy scriptures, our heritage, man, turning from turn the, from the uh, from the refuge or the or the protection from Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, you know, it's better than for those that hey, it's be, that's what that backs up the point, man. It's better to not even have known the truth than to stop believing, man. It's better that you haven't even known the truth. All right, so that's it, this puts us in, puts us in a fearful mindset, man. Okay, verse twenty-two. It says, "But it, but it has happened unto them according to the true proverb: the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the soul that was washed to her wallowing in the mirror." All right. So it is worse to man to stop believing than to never believe. That's something scary. All right, and those that that do actually stop believing, you know, and have, of course, and have and have um and did receive the word, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from the holy scriptures. Through the men of the Lord, through the you know, through of course through the Israelites, all right. More, it's going to be a greater judgment for you, all right. So you got it. So you got to remember, remember those missiles, man. Remember that famine, dying of starvation. Remember these such things, man. All right. For all those that you know, because it's a, it's a it's a lot of spirits out there that that have walked past the Hebrew Israelite camps. You know, have have scrolled scrolled past the video, you know. Have had one on one conversation with Hebrew Israelites, man. All right. Sincere Hebrew Israelites. Okay. All right. So hey, think upon these such things, man, because a lot of people out there are aware of the truth. All right. And are aware of the prophecies that are going to take place. And are, of course, aware of the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So with that, I'm going to end it off there and give all the glory and infinite praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. All right, and Shalom, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying and exhorting to you sincere believers. Hey, Shalom, keep the faith, blah, blah, blah.